2014 golf in today for our water leak procedure. So we're just going to show you what we've got inside the car and then we're going to go on and show you the problem. Um, so we're having signs of water in the driver's front footwell and the driver's rear. This is our special machine which detects water. So that's detecting water in my fingers. So if we put that down here under the carpet so we can see that that is telling us that there's water underneath that carpet. All right, now if we come to the back, we've took the back seat out, and if I just turn our torch on, I've lifted up the carpet as much as I can without taking out all the trims. And we can see down there that it's soaking wet. And if we just lift that underlay up, so we can see there, we can see the water in the underlay. Uh, the only thing is, if this is wet, nine times out of 10, it goes up the bulkhead sponge underneath the pedals, and that's what takes quite a time to dry. Um, so just obviously show this machine on the back. So it's telling us we've got water there, as we know of. Uh, coming around into the boot, I've took the back boot section out, and we can see that there's water in the bottom here, um, and there's water in the box sections by the air vents. Coming around to the passenger side, passenger side doesn't feel wet underneath the carpet, um, but if I put our machine there, you can see that it's not breeding anything, so it's telling me that it's dry around this section here, but it's telling me it's wet here as well, up to around about here. Uh, the reason being is because when the water comes from the back, it will use this exit here as a slide, and then runs down and fills up the footwells. I just want to put our machine in the front footwell. Just to see if there's any signs of any water underneath the carpets in the underlay. Right, okay, so that's telling me that there's no water underneath the front. So that's good. And now we're going to go on to the problem. Um, the reason being is because obviously we need to take the seats out to suck out as much water as we can and then from there we will put our super dry machine in there. Uh, one or two reasons. Um, one to make sure everything's dry for electrics because obviously water and electrics don't go together and as well as a smell because obviously water when it's enclosed in a car um, it can create mould and obviously horrible smells. Uh, so we're just going to show you obviously what we found.